Hey there boys and girls, I just wanted to pop in real quick and uh, add a, an introduction before this video gets started. Uh, just so you guys know, this video, I did record all the different components of this video about a week ago on, uh, on around the 20th-ish. And uh, so as a result of that, that was a week where I ended up working 92 hours in one week. So as you can imagine, I was feeling extremely fatigued and uh, so and and in, and I know that clearly shows in the video and I know you guys don't like seeing me being that tired but it it was a brutal week it really was um, so I just wanted to let you guys know when I'm talking about stuff like that and the way it's seeming compared to the videos that I'm doing this weekend is because that was actually recorded a week ago I've had a chance to rest up since then and uh, so obviously I'm feeling a lot better than I did did then at the end of uh, uh, just one of the most brutal weeks I've had all year. So bear that in mind and I apologize for looking so insanely exhausted for you guys. Uh, but it was something that I wanted to talk about and uh, I felt it was important and relevant to you guys so I decided to push through and do the recording anyways. I didn't end up doing the editing or recording this weekend and I realized how different I looked a week ago compared to how I look today. So I thought I'd let you guys know why. So without further ado, Here's the tired me doing a report on uh, Star Citizen. Hello boys and girls, my name is Sid Alpha and we're coming here together again today to discuss another Star Citizen post that has been released recently by Derek Smart. This one was released uh, four days ago and was titled Year Star Citizen Year 4. Now, in this post, he discusses, basically he reiterates a lot of statements that he's made in the past, and he also discusses the, uh, the Alpha 2.0, which is, has been scheduled, I say scheduled because there is no definitive date as to the release, but the, start, the Alpha 2.0 release, uh, which should be taking place here at some point sometime soon. Um, I know a lot of people are getting a little tired of uh, of listening to Derek Smart. I and I I do know that a lot of people don't want me to become a mouthpiece for him or his rantings and things like that. However, I would be remiss to not call at least call this to you guys' attention and point out some of the things that are said, some of the things that I can you know kind of agree with some of the things that I can kind of disagree with and uh, give you guys a little bit of perspective before you know before your minds cloud down with rage or anything like that um, so without any ado I'm gonna skip over here so you guys so we can take a look at this posting together of course a uh, link to it will be posted down below so you feel free to view it for yourself so bear with me for just one second Okay, so we, here we are at Derek Smart's post, uh, Star Citizen Year 4, and uh, this was posted November 18th. Okay, we're going to skip through this here kind of fast. Uh, reportedly failed to obtain investor funding in the rights of wing commander. Uh, Chris decided to create the Star Citizen IP instead, uh, which is fairly common. Fairly common to see. Uh, this happens a lot of times when a uh, when a gaming IP has gone changed hands over the years, and the original creators decide they want to do something for that. They will try and uh, reacquire the rights to the game. That doesn't always happen, and what you're left with usually are a spiritual successor to the video game, not a actual successor itself. Returning to an industry that had since moved on, he managed to get over $2 million from us for giving types who believe that everyone deserves another chance. And we all believed in that original Vision 1.0 dream from back in 2012, but then Chris... Chris, mean Chris, did what he always does. He screwed it all up by not only reneging on promises made, but also by extending the scope of the project to a completely bloated Vision 2.0. All that knowing full well that, one, they didn't ha even have the tech to build such a game, and two, there was no way in hell the scope of game as pitch could ever be developed. Okay. 
So we do have to understand that uh, this, of course, is not an editorial piece. Um, as always with Derek Smart, this is heavily laden with his opinions, and uh, it's not all fact. It's 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 f facts thrown in with opinion, f thrown in with a bunch of other stuff. So one, we have the hangar where you get to view your ships, except that it's nothing but a staging area and nothing else. Plus, you can't view all your ships in it. That much is true. Arena Commander, a dogfighting app that, even after 18 months, is buggy, subpar, and has very few players. Very few players out of over 700,000 backers. Kind of true, to a certain extent. Um, it, Of course, it is still buggy, because the game is still under development. So I'm not going to, and that's that's also the thing that's uh, this this traces back to something that I've said multiple times. This is the problem with early access and crowdfunding games is you can't you can't bash on them for being buggy because they're still under development, and that's also something that they can use as a shield. Saying you can't hate us because it's still under development. It's 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 it's, it's still being worked on. So yeah, your arguments are crap. You see that in countless video games. I'm not necessarily saying that we see that here, but of course it is under development, so of course it's still going to have bugs. Uh, very few players out of over 700,000 backers. Now, of course, this is not something I can either confirm or deny, because I have no idea and I have not been able to obtain any sort of uh, information as to how many people are consistently playing Arena Can Commander out of the uh, the backers that are currently funding the project. Now we also have Social Planet Side, a level one out of uh, 100 promised that is as bland as it is empty and with no redeeming gameplay related qualities. Now this one I actually have to kind of agree with him here on. 100% I've, 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 been, I've been checking this out myself and I, I am working on a video concerning that uh, you know general state of the game um, I'm not able to complete it until I actually do obtain a good functioning joystick as mine has gone TA and uh, frankly the one I had purchased to replace it just isn't working right so I'm working on a replacement for the replacement uh, but basically the social planet side area it is it to be honest guys he's 100% correct here it's fucking empty it really is there's absolutely nothing you can do there except you can drive around on a buggy for a little while and, and or walk around and look at ooh cool graphics that's all you get there unless I'm just completely missing something um, which, if I am, if I'm missing some area or zone that I somehow missed in my hour-plus walkthrough of the area, then then please, please do point it out to me so I can check it out. Uh, they haven't met a single delivery deadline, not one. That much is very, very true. Um, there are whales who have paid upwards of $30,000 invested in this game. These are the same people who keep putting money into the game. Yeah. He once again accuses them of wasteful spending of backer money is continuing, ranging from repeated iterations of once completed game assets and tech to relocating teams to more expensive states, building new offices, spending millions of dollars on the same tech, mocap, FPS module, which bears very little relevance to the game being made, paying late filing fees for UK Studios financials, e.g. Foundry 42, that much is actually true, guys, I'm sorry, uh, spending money on investigators and legal and taking action, which amounts to intimidation, harassment, etc. Um, I'm going to need some proof on this one here. I I have yet to find, see or find any proof on this, so uh, take it with a grain of salt. Of course, I can't find anything to either back it up or disprove it. October CitizenCon event, Chris Harvest, despite previously going on the record as saying the game will be completed and delivered in 2016, stated that he was no longer giving backers delivery schedules for the project. And just like that, what little accountability for this $95 million project was left went out the window. It all translates to, we've got your money, fuck you very much, we don't know you shit. Okay. Now this is actually something that I that I that I touched base on on my uh, uh, my take on the Citizen Con events, and I will post a link to that video here as well. Um, 
is that yeah their 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 absolute refusal to give any form of delivery dates whatsoever is a concern to me for a variety of reasons not necessarily the same reasons that Derek Smart is giving a whole host of different re reasons that I, that I provided that it does leave a it does provide a very large large concern for me and it's not something I'm happy about now the that aside from the debacle surrounding the game's development timeline is it four years or three years yet some people are really arguing about this and despite the fact that Chris has gone on the record time and time again making this sort of a statement which means that the project has actually been four years in development and he provides a quote from an interview which we will actually switch over to here and here we are at the interview he's referring to by Vile Rat that was uh, released in uh, October 19th, 2012. Uh, this one is titled Exclusive Interview Star Citizens Chris Roberts. And here we are at the statement. We're already one year in. Another two years puts us at three total, which is ideal. Any more and things would begin to get stale. So they are stating that they are one year in already. Um, and 2011, which does put the game at a four-year mark. Now, as to the overall relevance, relevance, because as I've stated before, large AAA titles is not unheard of to have a three- to five-year development cycle, and uh, the Squadron 42 game itself would be considered a AAA title, and in addition to that, they're building this uh, Star Citizen MMO at the same time with the same studios and the same people um, where they're they're basically building two games um, and uh, the second game being means probably the absolutely most ambitious MMO of all time and so a three-year four-year five-year development cycle would definitely not be unheard of um, I, I've gone over this time and time again guys so I'm not gonna continue beating a dead horse basically the only major point of contention here is because of the original stated timeline of the people who backed the game on Kickstarter and I do agree 100% that those people who backed a specific vision of the game uh, on Kickstarter are entitled to a refund 100% no questions qualms are about it and uh, that equates to about 2.1 million dollars so just any one of those people who want a refund just give it to them no hassle no questions asked sorry the game ended up turning into this colossal thing sorry you don't want to be a part of it here's your money back have a nice day end of argument that's that's all that you need you know so we're on to uh, Derek Smart's update here uh, so the three years since the Kickstarter campaign anniversary, Twitch TV live stream started at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and ended a little after 5 p.m. Uh, they didn't show any live footage of the, the much-touted Persistent Universe 2.0 build at all. They spent over two and a half hours on selling JPEGs of ships, the Crucible and the Archimedes, talking about Squadron 42, Mark Hamill, mocap, etc., and a walkthrough of a bar-slash-lounge work in the work in progress are. Okay. Seriously, they spent only roughly the last 27 minutes on Alpha 2.0. Uh, they sent out uh, a thousand invites to lucky few who would get to test this disaster of the Persistent Test Universe server. I watched some guys playing as, as expected. It wasn't ready for production and release. Lots of glitches, crashes, not much game, etc. Now, this is actually this. This is something I have to circle back on, guys, here. Um, they sent out a thousand invites to the persistent test universe server a thousand invites out of the 700 plus thousand people who are actively backing this game this is something that I am not okay with guys I really am not and uh, give me just a moment I'm actually gonna switch back over so you guys can see me while I'm ranting that way at least have can you know make comments about how ugly I am and shit like that so hang on just a moment okay so they are sending out they they sent out a thousand invites to a few people 
a few backers of this crowdfunded game to be able to test new features in the Persistent Universe game. Okay? That's not okay to me. Because this is not this is not a tri this is not a triple A game. This is not a game where you have publishers who are funding the game to be developed for re later release and consumption to you, the public. No, you are the ones who are paying for this game. You guys are the publishers, and yet they only send out a thousand invites to this. Okay. Every single one of you is responsible for this game being created to begin with. The money you are paying in is paying for this game. Every single one of you should have access to this uh, uh, Persistent Test Universe server. PTU server. Everyone should have access to this. First off, it's not right for the actual people who are funding the game to be denied access to a to this feature and to you know helping with the beta testing and things like that and helping find and locate bugs for people to be able to correct the game and make further patches and updates to make it a better game none of you who are back in this game should be denied access to this that's just that's just good consumer relations that's good for if they allowed everyone who's back the game to be able to do this that would be good for you guys the consumer good for you guys the backers okay them limiting this to a to a select few random people okay that is not something that is consumer friendly that is not something that is friendly to the backers of this game and that is not something I'm okay with at all at all no you need to give everyone increase the number of servers you know you've got enough money to be able to fire up additional hardware which you're going to need anyways or what you which you should already have anyways for the final at least the final full version release of the game you should have all this shit ready to go all right so give everyone access to this help everyone make a better game let everyone help you to make a better game. Okay. Rant over for the moment, guys. Sorry, let's switch back now. So overall, guys, it's, uh, you know, it's not... This one is actually a very mellow blog post from Derek Smart. It's not quite as... It's not quite as, I guess I would say anger or rage fueled or fueled in, at frustration at the uh, at the white knighting and everything like that that he always tends to throw out uh, this one seems to be a little bit uh, quite a bit more quite a bit more fact focused it doesn't have quite it doesn't have nearly as much as of his uh, uh, opinionization that you that we've seen in the previous postings that he's made so this is actually a bit of a refreshing change from Derek Smart uh, it's it's a lot more easier for people to be able to read and comprehend without having to go and read you know 10 12 page articles just to be able to gain a basis of understanding for a single paragraph um, so overall, if, as far as Derek Smart's concerned, it's a well-written blog uh, as far as his standpoint goes. Uh, there are a lot of things, there are several things that I don't necessarily agree with, but there are a lot of things also that I kind of agree with and some things which I may or may not agree with depending on what my own investigations turn up. Um, but just thought you guys would be aware of that. That, that, would, that, that one thing with the thousand people that they allowed access to the additional features server uh, that's that was the main sticking point for me and that's what really pissed me off it really did because this is you know you guys are paying for this game you should be having access to all of the features as they're coming out you know buggy or not you know uh, this game should not be treated like a triple-a title it should be treated like a crowdfunding game that it is so, 
with that in mind, you know, guys, uh, just to let you know, I am still, of course, I'm, I've got a replacement joystick coming so I can finish my, uh, my recordings and do my review on the state of the game. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that out before Alpha 2.0 launches, um, because that will that'll give us yeah, at least give us a good basis of comparison of where we are now versus where we are when Alpha 2.0 comes out, and that'll give us a better coverage area for being able to determine how much further we have to go before we can actually actually hit a full build game, or at least finally get into the point where it's at a beta release. Uh, so that's where that's where we're standing. There. Sorry, I had something fall down there. So, uh, basically, and just to let you guys know, of course, I know I look tired as fuck. There was actually a huge storm that came out in the general area last week, and I pulled in between Monday and Friday last week. I worked 90 hours, uh, mainly working with uh, internal IT companies at three different uh, three different municipalities and counties uh, to get their 911 centers back online, and there were countless other uh, health services companies that I that uh, we helped get them back up and running after the storms knocked out power. There's still well more than a hundred thousand people without power right now. So that's that's what I've been dealing with this last week. That's why I haven't seen any new videos. Uh, I've been concentrating on that a lot, and uh, we'll be continuing to do so probably for the next day or two, maybe three, and then after that. Uh, I'm going to try and rest a little bit because I've worked a lot. I really have. Um, got a few things coming up, but uh, a lot of the other stuff, I'll also, I'll also be doing a general update uh, uh, video log for you guys on, let you know what's been happening, what's been, uh, why there hasn't been much on my channel. As always, you know, life tends to get in the way and things like that, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably be releasing that first because uh, this will take a small amount of bit longer to edit and so this video you guys probably won't be say, seeing coming live until like Monday or Tuesday um, so yeah with that being said stay tuned my state of the game for Star Citizen will be coming up I'll also be doing a, v a review for Fallout 4 and I will also potentially be doing a video regarding the new uh, the new release for uh, Wow, my brain is really not working. Forgive me for that little edit, edit there. I'll also be working on a uh, a review for Fallout 4, and I'll also be working on a potentially working on a video for the recent release for StarCraft 2. So stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, I really appreciate your patience. It's been a wicked, wicked week, and uh, it, it's it's been tough. Um, but stick with it. Star Citizen is coming along. It's still chugging away. We'll keep an eye on things and uh, see how things go over the next next few weeks, next few months. So until next time, once again, my name is Sid Alpha, and I'll see you guys later. Hey folks, Sid Alpha here. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you want to check out some other First Impressions videos, feel free to click on the link on the left. If you're interested in staying more up to date with what's happening in the PC gaming community, feel free to click on the link to your right. The subscribe button is down at the bottom. Please show your support and punch that evil thing as hard as you can. And once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.